Bernadette. It's wonderful to have you on Floor Talk again. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much for inviting me. Now, Bernadette, like many industries, retail is continually looking for ways to improve margins and generate greater efficiencies. Why has generative AI become so important for retailers and what new capabilities does it offer and how does it improve retail e-commerce methods? So it's interesting. What I would say is what we observe is that everybody is experimenting with Gen AI. And I think that's the operative word, experimenting. FOMO is alive and kicking and everybody wants in. When you think about a retailer though, what are they looking to do? They're looking to improve their customer experience. They're looking to improve conversion, revenue, all that sort of thing. Ultimately with the idea of engendering greater loyalty. So what we did was we actually did some research and the top three things that both groups, that was common across both groups, was the fact that they wanted shopping guides, so generative shopping guides, product comparisons. Then they also wanted more of a conversational experience. It's interesting because when you think about those things, you think about the shopping guides or the product comparisons, they're the types of things that you would need to give you an assist if you were browsing if you were maybe looking for inspiration for a Mother's Day gift, or if you were trying to choose a TV and you wanted to make sure it was good for gaming, but not for, you know, you weren't that big on streaming. So those types of things are very time consuming for marketers and merchandisers to create, but they're also what consumers are craving to help them make some decisions. And so that's why these areas, it's not surprising they came up as number one and number two in our research because they're hugely intensive for brands and retailers to create, but yet that's what we as consumers are, are craving. And so Gen AI on its own is not sufficient for retail. Because think about it, you don't want a conversational experience recommending something that you don't carry in your catalog. So you actually need retrieval augmented generation as well as your catalog. So you need the combination of the generative AI capabilities, but bound by your catalog so that you can maximize your revenue. So I think that's why retailers are looking towards this. They want to experiment. They don't want to be left behind and they're trying to increase conversion and help their customers. And Bernadette, what do you believe is the growing importance of data? We all know, or intuitively now, we all know that AI requires fuel and that fuel is data. Now, that's not news to the, you know, the data scientists um, or the ML engineers. Now, the C-suite understands that and the business more broadly gets that. And so, for example, if you take a look at our portfolio, we have an AI search product. We've had AI in, in the form of natural language understanding, so understand how we speak as opposed to just keywords and large language models for years. We actually have more records, data, to search than even on Amazon. We almost have two times their data, which is quite unbelievable when you think about it, but we're servicing 17,000 customers globally, so that's why. And then when you take a look at our click and conversion data, which is, you know, you might click on a pink blazer and a black blazer, we, we record all of that information, but we respect your privacy at the same time. That's really important to us but we're collecting all of that data as well, because then you can really adopt a personalization strategy as a retailer. And so the rise in that type of data that we've seen in our own, uh, within our own four virtual walls has increased sixfold in just over the last year. So I guess at the end of the day, the, the companies that have access to large, scalable, real-time, diverse data sets are ultimately going to win the AI solutions race. So that's why it's important for us to deliver the best service we can to our customers. And finally, Bernadette, how does Algolia's technology translate in the real world? What are the tangible benefits for retailers and consumers? So our purpose in life, why we get up out of bed every morning, is to help people find things without foraging. Um, and so as a consequence, I think the best way to answer that is to give you a couple of examples from our customers. So again, going back to what retailers are trying to accomplish is increase in conversion, increase in revenue, increase revenue per user, increase in average order value. There's many different ways of cutting that. But what we enable them to do is to achieve those increased goals in a super efficient way. So one of our customers, they are a, a global company and they're a very diverse retailer online as well as in their stores. And they have sports, um, a sports retailer, they have a 
generic department store, they've got high fashion, luxury items, they've got all sorts of very diverse portfolio. They implemented our AI search and they increased their revenue per user, actually, they increased by 5.8%, which converted to millions upon millions of dollars uh, impact to their business. And what was perhaps as impressive was that they did that with a newly formed team of three merchandisers. Whereas when I was speaking with the chief customer officer, he said in a previous life, it had taken him a minimum of 15 to accomplish the same thing. What we do is give the ability to automate and provide this capability out of the box as an assist to the merchandising teams because they're inundated and there's never enough for merchandisers to do everything that you want. When you have brilliant search and navigation on your website, you can get other benefits. You know, everybody wants to rank on Google or Bing or whatever, you know, really high up there in the organic results because you're not paying for those. So of course you want to be high. And so if you've got great search on your website, you get rewarded from that. The public search engine algorithms reward you for keeping me on your site for longer. And so that means it pushes your results higher in the organic results. That's the kind of impact that you can get. Well, Bernadette, it's wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thanks so much, Judy.